what's up everybody welcome to my channel in this video today i will be sharing with you exactly what you need to do in order to accept credit and debit card payments on your shopify store you may have created your shopify store and you realize that the only option really kind of available to you is paypal and you want to have your customers be able to directly pay from their credit or debit card on your website without having to go through paypal but you can't enable shopify payments because it's not available within your region and so are many of the other payment providers so the key thing here now is that you're going to need to change your address to a country where shopify payments is supported or the other payment providers so we're going to be looking at three ways you can go about this starting from the best option to the least desired option so the first one is the best one which is to actually register your business in the united states where you can get a ein for your shopify store now this may sound complicated but it is really easy guys you can get this done literally within a week however it may cost you anywhere between 100 to about 500 us dollars because you're going to need to use a registered agent in the united states to get this done for you so basically you're going to pay the registered agent fee which varies based on the agents that you use right and then you're going to pay to incorporate your company which is another fee so those are the two main things you would need to do now once your company is registered you can now apply for your EIN you can do this yourself by going on the IRS website right or you can use a registered agent if you use a registered agent they are going to charge an additional fee so it will vary again depending on the registered agent you're using so guys the registered agent sounds complicated right but no it's not they're just a company in the united states that will assist you in registering your company so you have to decide which state you want incorporate in delaware is a good state because of its tax benefits right and once you decide on which state you're going to register in, then you search for registered agent in that state and then you can do the necessary comparison in terms of fees so once you have your llc registered is like you can operate basically like a us person right so now you can open a legit us bank account a great option for this is mercury so they are great for startup companies and within seven business days your company can be registered so the first step is to register your company once you register your company then you apply for your EIN once you have your EIN then you can get a bank account however you can start the process to apply for your bank account immediately once you have the articles of incorporation not articles of incorporation but your certificate of formation it's a very simple process it can take you like less than 10 minutes to register for mercury online so with mercury you have to have your ein however there are two other options where you don't need an ein so you can own this under your personal name because you can still link your bank account to shopify so you can use TransferWise, right or payoneer both are two great online services that you can utilize now the second option to enable shopify payments is to ask a friend or family within the united states if you can utilize their social security number on shopify so the disadvantage of this approach is that this may be seen as their relative or family member earning additional income so this may have tax implication i'm not the expert in this area so you may have to consult with an accountant there the third option and the easiest of them all but it comes with a little risk this is to change your store address to a company like canada which when you do change it to a canada address shopify won't ask you for an ein or social security number but the risk in doing this is that shopify may close your store or may ask you to provide verification details especially if you're operating your store a long time however if you just created your store then you may be good to go so if you wanted to see how you can set up your store and set up your bank account i'd previously done a step-by-step -step video showing you how to do this i'll leave a link to that video in the description of this video so guys if this video has helped you hit the like button the subscribe that's it for now thank you for watching see you in the next video